Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dickie's videos, of course, we're no war game wins unplayed. We're here, I took a little bit of hiatus from this series, uh, due to life getting a bit busy, uh, and apart from, uh, you guys know, I've been re I'm, I'm quite active on my channel, uh, and you know, just life stuff came up a little bit, and uh, mental health issues and all the rest of it, we just need to get on with this campaign and play it through. The Kingdom of Norway needs to be victorious, but you're here, we need to get on with it. Uh, can't remember it being this bad. I can't remember. Why am I at minus 1,000 gold? <laughs> oh, this can't be the save. <laughs> How did I leave Norway at such a bad end? We're doing so well. Oh. All right, welcome to Dickie's videos. We're no world game raise and played. We well, welcome back to the next continuation of this Norwegian campaign, where we conquered most of Norway. Uh, our vassals, uh, of course, uh, rebelled, as in Sweden. Uh, the Wales, it was going to happen. I was kind of biding my time for it. it. These two things have collided, and not in a great way. Why am I at minus this gold? What is happening? All right, uh... I've got no regional decisions to sell. What was I doing? So these are coming back. That's not even my army. This is the Vestergoth Swede. Oh yeah, we decide to come back. Well, Wales, can we peace with Sweden? Let's see. First of all, we can peace with Sweden. Can we peace with Wales? Can I, I give them metal? Because I can afford to give them metal. Yeah, let's see if that piece is out. Minus 12. All right, so it seems like we are actually going back to... Uh, we, we, I, I, I should have watched the last video, but I didn't. My God. How did it get so bad? It was, it was flying high as Norway. Flying high. The, the, the Odin was singing our praises. I, I can't believe it, I left it this bad. I'm going to have to take another cup of tea. But any road, we're going to try and do the best we can to get out of this mess that we call, uh, I think, with skin. I, just, I, just, I mean, I remember it being like 240 turns. Oh, it, yeah, it was 240 turns. And we were doing like quite well. Like, if Wales pieced it out with us, it'd be better. No, I think we're better off abandoning Sweden. Abandoning our Norwegian heritage. We're still top of the faction. We're not too far off the, uh, you know, legacy rating. You know, plus sort of 37 a turn. We're, sti we're not, you know, we're only a couple of thousands off uh, the Byzantines and the Holy Roman Empire. And the Spanish are doing particularly well. France. And we did progress to that next tier of uh, Civ as well. So we'll also just make sure we're grabbing them resources. All right, let's... Oh, uh, from Wales, Mercy does not a guilt from... So, from Wales, offering Mercy to vanquish foe like Sweden does not absorb you from the guilt of infinite unjust conflict. Okay, does that guess you don't want to be friends with anymore? Okay. In no way and developed our region. Uh, the room is the guard house, which is always good. You can build. Oh, so we pieced it with. Uh, we pieced it with. No. Oh, God. Yeah, they've took some land off us, though. Oh, okay, that's fine. Our relationship with Alpine has increased somewhat in terms of the peace to really generous. Okay, so we are... Oh, we're just going to be just... We're going to be he hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging? Hemorrhaging? Hemorrhaging gold. 
Okay. Uh, we're going to have to like disband any army we can disband to... Uh... This is the Welsh who are just... That's this army here. Oh. Okay, can we sell any decisions to gain any... Go I just don't... Can't, I just... I can't remember how to sell it. Oh, the patched it. So you don't... You don't get it instant. Oh, you devs. You devs. So I get it next turn. What's in here? Not a great army, to be honest with you. All right, we're just going to chuck everybody back. Disband. I don't know how we're going to get out of this, this deficit. This is going to be a long road to Tipperary. I don't know what's costing us so much here. I think it's my court. I'm just glad we got peace with Sweden. And I'm hoping I can just try to improve our relation by offering them stuff. The Welsh are having none of it. And we're about to get Norse rebels in the south of England. Oh, jeez, Louise. <sighs> this is going to be the bitching stream. The bitching half an hour. We've only been playing seven minutes. And it's... I'm going to have to change all of my provinces on to gold production. Oh, we're damaged. This could be it. We're going to go for it regardless. Uh... Oh, there's been a crusade. Now we're at civil war. Richard, Richard the fucking the bold. Oh, sh Okay, well, I guess this is this is how we die. Has anybody actually rebelled in? No, we still regrade. I'm hoping my vassal then comes across. Oh no, he's on our side, I guess. Uh, Northumbria. Oh, he's rebelled. Oh, God. That's all we want. And the Welsh are there. And we've got some Norse rebels. We've got our fleet coming down here. Uh, we have trash generals at the moment time as well. Okay, let's just... Can everybody go to gold? Yeah, everybody is not happy all of a sudden. What is costing us so much? So we've got military upkeep 77, court expenses. Population tax, yeah, core expenses. What? How are they so high? 
Like, what is with our court? <sighs> this is like royally screwed. Like, everything up. Oh, this... This army is ours, which is for... Oh, God. That's the Norse rebels, so we can bring out of here. This is the Welsh army. This is the... Oh, God. Well, we'll just have to live at a negative. Why is court exp I need to go and read the manual again about court expenses because I don't think it should be that high. Craven. And I can see they've patched the uh, selling stuff because it breaks the game, which I I kind of agree with. Yeah, I fucking oh jeez, Louise. And they've sieged us out, unfortunately. That's it. This is this is game over. I think we're gonna lose most of our armies here straight away. I don't know how it got so bad. I just don't remember it being this. This is probably why I stopped playing it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's no point playing that. Uh, possibility we shall win this? It's the Northumbrian. Oh, God, he's got a really good... 2-2 two, two general here. Our combat rolls are really good, though. Easy. Uh, probably lose to Wales again. Oh, God. See, we're plus two, four, five. Yeah, the, that double whammy of Welsh. I don't know if we can come back, especially with the Northumbrian Rebellion at the same time. Yeah, we're at four, so we'll come out of this deficit soon. But the problem is, can we just balance the books? pretty kick we're doing so well we're two turns out of being in a deficit but of course with fact is it's just the war between us okay uh yeah that's fine And we've lost our, our elite army, really, which is disappointing. <sighs> Can we piece it? <sighs> just want to give them peace. Let's see, we'll just get peace. Just, uh, just ask for peace. We're at minus 18. They're war score. I mean, we... Can't really do very much. Just because the deficit of gold. Possibility of trying to get out of it. This is now going to be the conundrum for the next few days. 
Oh my god, our authority's been tanked as well. Uh, yep, goodbye, Mr. Army. And the Welsh are just reaping the north. And unfortunately, there's very little I can do about there, apart from raising an army in Ireland and then decking it across to the east. We came so far. The problem is my army's just going to desert. That's the issue. The purely, I mean, army's going to desert. So I've got... Oh. Wales are there. Wales are up and coming as well. That's a problem. Oh, fuck's sake. It's... I, I can't do anything with this gold disruption. And also now he's... Uh, he's taking my provinces. So my provinces are now... Losing their... Their region bonus and their region governance. I don't know why I'm building anything down there. It's just going to get reaped. Okay, let's try and get stuff together in Elba. Unfortunately, I can't do anything that is sieging it. Oh, just anything to do with gold. It has to be to do with anything with gold. And just trying to... Can we sell more redraw decisions? Yeah. Okay. Let's just get out of this deficit. Raise a bunch of murdering bandits. And we're just going to reap the living shit out of the Welsh and the bloody Northumbrian rebels. We're not over. We're down. But we're not out yet. We've got plenty of provinces, plenty of castles, plenty of time he has to siege us out. And let's hopefully that can just bring us together just to raise an army. Oh, having them ports, that was so nice to get that six the six combat strength north. Get that po get that positive money, then we're gonna go down and we're gonna reap the shit out of them Welsh. To see if my, uh, I don't think my vassals will move their armies from Nor uh, from homeland Norway to our base. There we go. I can plus gold at last. <sighs> I need to get a card where I can actually raise levies or raise uh, mer no, not even mercenaries. I can't afford mercenaries. This is me being humbled by the computer player, but we'll go with that. Okay, so fine. What can we actually raise here? Absolutely nothing. It's just the gold. Oh, we've got tons of ap epidemics. We've got core to arms. What does core to arms do? Uh, Target region will get 200 recruitment points after the next recruitment phase, but penalty modifiers apply for the next 12 turns. No. It's worth just selling it, and then we can get some points. You son of a bitches. Oh, they've got two major armies here. Is this all the armies we've got about? Uh, what generals we got? I 
I think because we've not played it for a few times since the updates. The 1-1 one, one, Sigfriel, he's the best so far. Let's hope Wales is good. Oh, Wales has got three armies. It's got three armies down there. Okay, next turn we should be able to recruit some armies in Wales in in Scotland. And then it's going to have to be one at a time, just defensive, offensive battles when we can. Problem is, the south of England's rich. Uh, well, that's gone. Oh, he's gone north. No, he's caught the other army. That's what he did. Hundred and sixteen. Problem is, he's going to be in some. He's going to be in mountains there. So, me an attack on that uh, position is going to be tenuous at best. Mm. He's unsupplied. He could be unsupplied in a few turns. Now we're plus gold as well now, so we can recruit units. No units are going to desert. Oh, strong stuff. We've got to be made of strong stuff here. So what's he got? Not a great deal. He's just got Welsh mercenary longbowmen. We can get Scots Highlanders, which will be nice. Forfeit claim. Form vassal. Absolutely just kicking our ass down south. Okay. Just got to get enough chance. Do we actually have a better general? We just don't have a decent general here. No, he's the he's the best. We need a mixed a mixed bag army here. Raise them Scots Highlanders. Get a big enough military there just to start pushing back south and then just piece, try to piecemeal them. But then it's, of course, dealing with the rebellion. But we're going to do it. All right, now we've got a sizable army. This is what we're going to do. We just need the Huskells again and the uh, Berserkers we've got with raising the from the uh, from the regional decisions. At least they have to fight the rebels if they go south. They have to go through there to fight the rebels. So they're stuck now. Unfortunately, I have chaff shit generals here. Why can't I just sell population? Be nice.
Okay. Forfeit claim. Okay, where's the fucking... Where's... Let's just go on to the expert mode and get... What is it? Mercenary company. Which button is it? Uh... What? Changing decision odds will cost approximately 150 gold. Where was that a thing? Okay. Just got to see, are we actually trading all the resources we can from these places? Uh, village, coastal watchtower. Anything to do in our uh, legacy rating would be rather nice. Okay. Let's see if we can win this what, at least one battle in this video. He's spending a lot of cash on these mercenaries then, to be honest with you. And then we've got to deal with... Oh, there's only a few rebels in the southern thing. And then we just solidify that top north uh, position. Come on, Scott. Oh, you better... Uh, yeah, we've lost that. There's no way about that. This... Oh, he's got a good defence general here. That exhausted guy as I think we lost it. Nope. That was not ideal though. Okay, he did bug out there. Did did he just lose? Did he just give up? I can't rely on all the rebels to do all the fighting for us. Yeah, he had a good defense general there. I really should have checked his general out before I pushed into that attack. Well, the Welsh are really coming up 19th on the legacy rating. Minus 92 for some reason there. I think we're just getting given troops. Uh, oh, no, I just can't even afford that, mate. Uh, House fighters arm like a mustering. will shortly rebellion in... Oh, go. What actually happened there? Oh, they must have... Oh, geez, got a nice fleet there. Okay, let's into this province. Got a small Welsh army. There's army mustering here. Got everybody's on generating cash. Uh, borders have been breached by the marauding. Well, I know they have. They're just they are the pillaging us as well. 
Okay, so you're going there. How much do these cost to upkeep? Oh, 34. I'll have to disband them. What's a cheaper unit to actually... Uh... Uh, our scales are Jesus, a hundred twenty-one. They're even worse, but they are hard hitting, though. Okay. Don't remember things being so expensive. Cost one hundred and twenty-five, and the twenty-one upkeep. What was the? Uh... What was the uh, militia? Where was he? Oh, it's because he's a mercenary. That's why. 174 upkeep, uh, build, and then 30 cost. But he is 121 cost. Okay, let's end this turn and then we're going to leave it there, I think. Just, yeah, it's just the Welsh being unchecked. They've got loads of little small armies that are just really dicking me over. That Norse army, though, in uh, Northumbria is going to cause me issues. Okay, so that should be a fine win, which it was. Oh, uh, I'm going to lose that province, which I did. I'm going to lose that. I can't get the balance right for some reason. We have to mess around this off the video and try to get some things balanced. I just don't understand why the court expenses are so so high for this. Like we're just hemorrhaging money from them. We're back. We're pro the funny thing is, we're still bloody progressing. I don't know how we are progressing. Oh, I'm going to crucify the Welsh. Kid you not. Okay, no. That's for, oh jeez, he's back again. Oh my fiddlesticks, here he is. Looking Welsh are back again. Sorry, no, the, the uh. Okay, fucking hell, this is, uh, I think the, oh, quite, l I mean, this is quite a look that the Northumbrians are actually fighting the Welsh at the same time, so it's a double whammy of thing here. See, if, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep the recruit local units, because uh, that will be handy for later on. All right, folks, click that like and subscribe button. We are back, of course, with Norway and, of course, Field of Glory Empires. Sorry for the delay as always. It's a bit of a mess, but I think a mess we can get out of with the help of our rebels uh, here. Take care, folks. Stay safe.